The natural disaster you will be learning about today is tornadoes. The first thing you will need to know is how is to know is how a tornado is formed. <laughs> when a very violent storm called a supercell happens, a huge mass of rising air starts to build up moisture that feeds the tornado later. With all this happening, a vortex is created forming a wide and tall tube of air, also known as a mesocyclone. While this is happening, cool, dry, sticky air wraps around the mesocyclone, which creates a rear flank downdraft. This then creates a difference in air temperature inside and outside the mesocyclone. This will then build up a level of instability that a tornado needs to thrive on. This will then make the lower part of the mesocyclone tighter and give it a pointed tip. When that happens, it will increase the wind speed only when the mesocyclone touches the ground does it become a tornado. Tornadoes mainly occur over land. In the U.S., tornadoes occur mid-U.S. This is a picture of Tornado Alley. The parts that are lighter are the, are the most common ones. So out here, it is not very common. But in here, where it should be red, these parts, those would be where most tornadoes strike down. And then everywhere around it, they're not as common, but those are good places that tornadoes would be there. When a tornado is in full force, trees are uprooted, houses are torn from their foundation, tall buildings are violently ripped apart, landscaping is sucked into the tornado, and animal habitats are shredded to pieces. The speeds for a tornado can reach 100 to 500 kilometers per hour. Tornadoes are rated on something called the Fujita scale. The tornado ratings can range from F0 to F5. F0 is the smallest or most minor ratings for a tornado. The largest or most dangerous ratings for tornadoes is F5, which means the tornado will be very violent. The most common tornadoes to touch down are F0 to F1, or maybe even F2. Only three or four F4s and F5s, and maybe even a few F3s, touch down in the U.S. <coughs> Each year, tornadoes <coughs> that are f F0 to F1 usually lasts for 3 minutes to 10 minutes. Stronger tornadoes like F4s and F5s last 25 minutes to an hour. Tornadoes are more likely to strike in an area called Tornado Alley, the, the picture that we just showed you. Okay. Plains and swamplands Plains, swamplands, coasts, and hills are affected by tornadoes. Many other things are affected when a tornado touches down. Buildings are torn apart, cars and trucks are flung around, trees and plants are uprooted, and a tornado could probably tear apart an entire city. A famous tornado is the Joplin tornado. The dust and debris a tornado picks up give it that scary dark color. Many things are damaged when a tornado rips through. Humans and animals are affected by tornadoes. Human houses are torn apart. Animal habitats are torn apart as well. All the food you once had is now, now gone or covered in debris, or maybe even both. Any animals you once, wait, any animals outside could be flung around and be badly injured. Kind of like tigers and cougars and pumas and all the others. Domestic animals, Domestic animals can also be hurt even though they are inside. That is why you would like to keep them close and maybe even in a pet carrier or on a leash. Humans can also be flung around and badly injured as well. When a tornado is coming, seek shelter. The shelter that you would want to have is a place where there, where it is downstairs, has no windows, and it must also have walls because you do not want to be outside when a tornado is happening. It could hurt you much more badly than when you are in out uh, uh, outside. Humans cannot prevent tornadoes from happening, but they can prepare for it. You must have an emergency kit because you cannot go somewhere to get stuff like water, food, or anything else when a tornado is raging. Have a flashlight in case the power goes out and a radio that requires batteries so you can listen to the news. Also have pillows and blankets in case it is cold or if you need to cover yourself or your heads. All these things are great to prepare for a tornado. 
that is the end of it. We hope you learned many things from our paper slide. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching our video. And that is it. And that is what that is things that you will need to know about tornadoes.